Welcome back to the Pyramid Game. Our second round has Ross and Dee now facing off against uh, Kama and Danny. Uh, are you, I think uh, Danny and Kama have allowed Ross and uh, Dee to go first, which was a yes. very nice move. So your categories. Hail Ra. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Once Upon a Time. A Body of Work. R and stop bugging me. Um, so Ross and D, you get first pick. Uh, uh Once Upon a Time could be like fairy tales. Do we know fairy tales maybe. well, like Hansel and Gretel and stuff? I'm not sure. Um a body of work could be like biology. Yeah. Um, Good at biology, but um, I'm really scared that's going to turn out to be, like, jobs or something. And I I don't think about my future, so I don't know what those are. Oh, well. Whatever you um, want. Oh, I don't oh, worry. Um, R, is that... It's got H in it, so... Do, well, it's got an H at the end, and usually R is for pirate. is just, like, AR. I'm not sure if... Should we just do the, this one and hope it's fairy tales? Sure. If not, okay, so <laughs> once upon a time. Yep. Yep. All right. Decide who's giving. Um, am I Can giving you? Ross? Yep. Yeah. Happy okay. to. So Dee's giving the clues. Yep. yep. All right. These are well-known fairy tale characters. Oh. Okay. We kind of got it. Kind of got it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Glass slipper. As. Uh, Cinderella? Yep. Made out of food. You can eat him. Uh, gingerbread man? Yep. Breadcrumbs in the forest. Uh, Hansel and Gretel. Uh, yeah. Uh, nose grows bigger every time lies. Pinocchio. Uh, appeared in Shrek. Uh, uh, those adorable eyes. Oh, uh, Puss in Boots. Yes. Really long hair. Uh, Rapunzel, that's it. Yes. And Seven Dwarfs. Uh, Snow White. Yes. Okay, that's all of them. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Yay! Okay, Danny, comma, come on down and pick your category. Let's see here. Hmm. Ah, uh, could be like mo like scary movies. Could be. Body of work. It could be books. I don't. I don't know. I think he. What? What? What's with? Here comes Peter Cottontail. I don't know. I don't know either. Should we? Should we pick R? Yeah, let's go for R. Okay. Let's go with R. Then he's gonna give. I broke my chair. Well. <laughs> All right, Jan or Danny, you're giving. These are things associated with pirates. Okay. All right, three, two, one, go. Uh, it's got a skull and crossbones on it. What would the name what? be for that? Um, next one. Uh, what do they sail in? Ship. Uh, what do they dig up? Treasure. A famous pirate. Blackbeard. Pirates of the... Caribbean. Um, famous... Another famous pirate. Um, white something beard. different for a hand. Um, Captain Hook. Um... What do they have on their heads? What do they wear on their heads? Oh god, it's a sp specific word, isn't it? Just a normal, normal word. Hat. On their head. Did we get them all? You passed the first one. Alright, um, Skull and Crossbones is a certain name for it. Um. First letter is, um, if you were laughing, 
Are you happy? There's a word for it. Rhymes with Holly. Jolly Roger. Okay. That's all seven. Whew. Yes. Welcome. All right. You guys are tied seven seven. Uh, D and Ross, come make your pick. Oh, dear. Um, anything calling to you? No, I don't really know what any of them are. That one could be like Egyptian. I'm not sure. Oh gosh. Um, here comes Peter Cottontail. Isn't that like Peter Rabbits? That might be like children's. Maybe, but I don't know how well I remember those. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I remember children's. But... You pick this one. Oh, I, I thought I picked the last one. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. This, I don't know what um, they are, so... Well, you're going to be giving the clues, and I'll be answering. So, it's up to you. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I don't know which one. That's just... Okay, body of work. I can do biology, but I think that'll be jobs, so let's cross out. What? Stop bugging me. No idea. So... Hera, not good at Egyptians. So should we just go with Peter Cottontail? Yeah, unless you sure. have. Okay, we're going I don't with Peter. Mind. Okay. <laughs> going with Peter Cottontail. All right, Ross will be given these clues. Yep. Oh, scared face. I'm so sorry, Ross. It's fine. I'm sorry <laughs> if I fail completely. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. They're made of chocolate, and you get them on Easter. Eggs. Yep. Uh, what are they made of? Chocolate? I just said it, yeah. Uh, who delivers them? The Easter Bunny. Yep. Uh, it's where you don't eat, like, stuff oh. for a certain amount of time. Fasting? Uh, no, it's like chocolate, usually. Like a diet. I think. I'm not sure. Pass. Uh, okay. It's the season Easter is in. Spring. Yep. Uh, it's, uh, like, where you have days off to celebrate. In the, service day? No, like, Easter... Holidays? Yep. Yeah. Uh, they're like... I don't know how to describe them. They're warm, and they have... Uh, they're uh, like... Hot cross buns? Yeah. That's... Well <laughs> uh, uh, we missed one. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's where you don't eat for like uh, two weeks, maybe? Lent? And it Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Also... <laughs> that was stressful. Why do you have to do this? Yeah. I was sitting there, like, with my hand covering my mouth because I was, like, scratching top of my lip, being, like, all nervous and stuff, being like, what? Yeah, all right, so scary. Danny. Um. Eeny, meeny, miny, moo. We're going to take a body of work. I don't know. I, I, I think I think it's something something easy. Let's hope You're going it is. With, you're going with a body of work. Mm-hmm. And I think, comma, you're giving right now, aren't you? Yes. All right, comma, and Danny, these are parts of the body. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Um, pass. It's above your nose. Eyes, eyebrows. Yeah, um, it's a bone, uh, it's more than one. It is to protect your heart and lungs. Rib cage. That's good. Um. When I when I when I smile, uh, you can see. Yeah. Um. To pump blood, you need heart. No. What were uh, the thing that goes through to pump the blood to everything? Arteries. Other word. Vein. Yeah. Um. It's on your back. It's long. Spine. You think with it? Brain. Um. Oh god, I knew what it was, but, um. It's. In your leg. Hamstring? No, not, not the muscle. Calf bone? No. Shin? Mm mm. Oh god. Kneecap? Nope. Oh, 
Um, yeah. Time's up. Um, you twist it, Danny. Part of your f- um, down by your foot. You can twist ankle. It. Yep. Foot uh, not leg. Yeah. Completely wrong. Six is not bad. Oh, six is okay. All right, so Ross and D, you're up 14 to 13. Everybody is getting through these questions very well. Oh, dear. Um, well, that one could be insects, and that one might be Egyptians, but I'm not sure. Well, so... I think I'll... Do you want me to give the question? Yeah, I'm... Well, what I'm would you that. prefer, then? Egyptians or bugs? Uh, whatever you're more confident with, because you have to, like, think. Do you think bugs would be okay? Yeah, I don't mind. You sound like you were leaning towards Egyptians. No, I, I, d- I honestly don't mind at all. You it sure? might even be insects, so... Yeah. It could be, like, annoying thing. Oh, well, then the whole list will just be me. So come on. Yeah. It's your call. It's your call. Uh, okay, well, do stop bugging me. Okay. Okay, do your giving. Yes. Scared face. They'll be fine. <laughs> They'll be fine too. All right, these are insects. Three, two, one, go. Um, Pat, lights up. Light. Uh, a firefly. Yes. Ah, uh, stings you. A bee. A wasp. Yes. Ah, uh, teeny tiny. They like make little hills. Uh, ants. Yes. Ah, uh, turns into a beautiful thing after being in a cocoon. Uh, caterpillar. Yes, what that thing turns into. A butterfly. Yes, something that's uh, tolerant to radioactive. Uh, cockroach? Yeah, go back to the first one. It does what a bunny does. Uh, it's, uh, it's like a, a cricket, but not a cricket. No, that's not an insect. Uh, it's like a cricket, but not a cricket. Yeah, uh, similar. Uh, I can't think. It was in a bug's life. Um, uh, the, the, the first word is a plant. And then the second, like, second part of the word A grasshopper. Is... Yes! Correct. That's all seven. You guys did perfect. <sighs> that was stressful. Yeah. Didn't get the first one. All right, so you guys scored a perfect 21. Uh, hey. Daddy and Kama, this well, is still, still very important. Uh, points are what matter. So, uh, obviously, D and Ross have the potential to be in first place. You guys score well here. Uh, you could still have enough to beat Piper and Giz. I guess we're going to take hell rather than... And of course I have it. <laughs> I want to. Okay. Alright, who's giving? Come up. Come up. Alright, these are things associated with ancient Egypt. Alright. Things associated with ancient Egypt. Very important, you get as many as you can. Three, mm-hmm. two, one, go. Big triangle, that thing. What was that? Big th- Triangular thing. Pyramid. What am I? Mummy. A uh, big river. Uh, Nile. Um, Ra, Anubis, Isis, R. Pharaohs. No. Gods. Above them. Yeah. Uh, what did you say before? Pharaoh. Uh, the language. Um, Hieroglyphics. That they wrote. Yeah. And the lion thing. The pharaoh head. Or oh, lion thing, yeah. yeah. lion thing. Building. Sphinx? Yep. Yep, correct. That's awesome. Ooh, seven points for Egypt. 